Hey, what is up guys, Matt from here. In this video, I'm gonna show how much warp packy work will affect trials. First, let's take my trial run for example. Not 100% perfect, could be better, but after 5 tries I got bored. Now let's calculate out the real combat time. I got 1 minute, 25 seconds with 2 breaks, so that's extra 10 seconds. Combat time making it 1 minute 35, but we want to end it before 50 seconds, so we did use the time spent running, so minus 7 seconds, making it 1 minute 28 seconds. We got the old and new warpike damage values here, so we can calculate out the time this run would be with the buffed values. First let's count the combos in the run. I used 8 step combos and 8 spin combos, balanced assaulting should be. I also used well spring 3 times, but since devs didn't buff it yet and no idea how they gonna buff it, we gonna calculate with payload. Currently one step combo has 1605 base damage called motion value, while spin combo has 1140 motion value, payload has 750. The new bar pack step combo has 1930, spin combo has 1355, payload has 1200. This means step got buffed by 20.2%, spin combo got buffed by 19%, payload got buffed by 60%. This is how the mat looks like for the run. And this is the mat with buff values. But the reworked warpike comes with reworked wound. The new wound gives 15% multiplicative damage increase and 15% attack speed which is also another multiplicative damage increase. I know speed have diminishing returns, meaning more speed you have, the less value it has, but we don't calculate with this diminishing returns here. I wounded the part after the second poke combo so we don't count these damage increases on those two. So this is how it looked like. This runs damage got increased from 24,210 to 38,272 making it 58% higher. So that 1 minute 28 seconds so 88 second combat time would be 55.69 seconds. But now we deduce the two breaks from this, making it 46 seconds. The current of one in this trial with strikers is 48 seconds. So 5 tries with warpike calculated with these buff values be the current striker time, which probably took hours to reach. The devs were talking about nerfing the wound buff values from 15 to 10, so let's calculate with that too. We already have the math for it, so we just simply change 15 to 10 and we get this. So this would be 46% damage increase, making the final time to 
50 seconds, which is still pretty crazy. And we didn't calculate with the no stamina use on the stab attacks, which forced me to use the spin combo instead the stab, which has more DPS, because I had too much attack speed and couldn't regen stamina. But here's the thing, this buff isn't just for Warpike. Other weapons can also use acidic to get these multiplicative damage buffs, making the striker times even faster. Though with acidic strikers, instead of getting 3 part breaks, it will get only 1, so we will see if more damage or more part break will make them faster. But of course, on buff hide week, it will be acidic on every weapon. Alright, thank you guys for joining to my math class. So, what you think? Would Warpack dominate in trials or Striker will still stay king? Goodbye guys, have a good day.